Welcome to FEMAP version 11.4. In this video we'll be looking at some of the new enhancements for pre-processing and meshing. The Show Entities Autoscale feature helps entity location and visualization by highlighting individual entities or groups of entities. For a group, simply select the group and choose Autoscale to show entities in the highlighter drop-down menu. FEMAP will automatically zoom up and highlight the selected group. Similarly, you can go through the window Show Entities menu and select an entity such as an element. Click the Autoscale checkbox and then select the desired entity to view. Again, FEMAP will zoom up and highlight the selected entity, making it much easier to locate and visualize model entities. The Draw Arrays command allows you to select a section of the model to view and work on, and erase what you don't want from view. It's possible to make a selection and further refine it to get exactly the portion of the model you want quickly and easily. In this example, we initially make a selection of elements from the entire model, which can sometimes be a little cumbersome and difficult to visualize. So let's make an initial approximate selection of the portion we want and further refine it. To further refine this initial selection, we deselect the Draw Model Select From All command in the Entity Selection drop-down. Now we can go back and make a further selection, just from the previously selected elements rather than the entire model, making it easier for us to get the portion of the model we want. The Modify Break command allows all instances of geometry curve intersections to be split automatically in one single command. Select the At All Intersections option in the Modify Break menu and all intersected curves will be split automatically. This command greatly facilitates the task of splitting intersected geometry, particularly if the geometry model contains many such intersections. Updating the FE mesh using FEMAP's meshing toolbox also updates any rigid body RBE elements present to match the new surrounding mesh density. Let's take a look at this model which contains bolt representations with spider RBE elements connecting to the holes. As we update the mesh in the meshing toolbox, either by simply increasing the mesh density of the edge curves, or through the introduction of a pad around the hole in this example, you can see that the spider RBE elements also update accordingly. This facilitates mesh updates and ensures that we maintain a contiguous mesh across the different element types in the model. In the previous case, all of the nodes of the RBE3 were connected to the geometry that was being remeshed. Let's take a look at what happens when this is not the case. We'll edit this RBE and remove a couple of the arms so that some of the connections to the nodes on the surrounding curves have been left out. In this situation, FEMAP cannot be sure of the analyst's intention regarding the behavior of the element, and when we remesh the surrounding geometry, FEMAP will leave the RBE as it is but will generate a warning message indicating that there are some discontinuities. It's then up to the analyst to reconnect the element manually as desired. You can use FEMAP's Vector and Plane editors, which are accessible through the Tools menu, to create, set up and manage vector and plane definitions, and save them to the model. Once a vector or plane definition has been saved, it can then be referenced and retrieved later on for further use. Also, FEMAP maintains a running list of previously used vector and plane definitions, which can also be referenced without necessarily having to save them. As well as the function definition tool in the model info tree, you can also create, edit and manage functions and tables using the function and table editor, which is accessible through the tools menu. For all the supported function and table types in FEMAP, you can create and load functions and tables, and there are save, copy, edit, and clear options available. There are also GUI-based tools in the editor to help create and edit the function or table. To find out more, visit us at siemens.com slash plm slash femap, or call your local channel partner.